Tis the season to shine with H&M. Discover the holiday collection and find fashionable pieces for your wardrobe or for under the tree. Get inspired and dazzle with this year's glam. From tuxedo styles, bow detailed pieces, impressive prints, and more. From unforgettable looks to unforgettable gifts. With fashion finds to home decor, find it all at H&M. Treat your loved ones and yourself this season. Shop in-store or at hm.com. What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the T Moss Boss Show. And in today's episode, I'm overall going to be updating you guys on this YouTube strike situation and let you guys know what is planned in the future. So, history is repeating itself. They're not going to remove the strike from my channel and they're not going to reinstate the video. Honestly, I could care less if they reinstate the video. I'm just more so like, can you just take the strike off of my channel so I can upload again? Like, I could care less for the video at this point. I'm like, yo, just take the strike off my channel. I'm like, I know I'm not going to upload videos like that anymore. But I'm like, I just don't understand, like, why would you guys ruin a person's job for a video that they uploaded years ago? And it's a, you guys, like, how many times, because my question is to you guys, how many times have you changed the guidelines since then? Because if not, the video shouldn't have been taken down then, and it shouldn't have been taken down now. Obviously, I posted the video back then, and nothing happened to it throughout the years, so all of a sudden, now it's a problem. Because I'm like, okay, if that's the case, then maybe you should say, all right, since the video was posted then, we're not going to give you, because the rules was different back then, so we're not going to give you any problems or any troubles about it. But when you're dealing with a content creator that has literally thousands of videos online, do you expect them to go through each and every one of their videos trying to see which video goes against the rules and the guidelines? And I brought this up to numerous people. I brought this up to other people. And they even, even they was like, I brought it up to my friend last night. She's a Twitch streamer. And she was confused on the situation. And I talked to the uh, one guy, um, Isaac Y. Uh, shout out to him. Shout out to my friend too. Her name is uh, Panda XO, I think. But it's like a weird way of, um, like of her like spelling it and stuff. But anyways, like it's not what that's about. But I told this to other people that even they was like, confused on this situation like how do you get a copy or a, a guideline strike for a parkour video and you can literally look up the word parkour uh on youtube or parkour reactions and you're going to see a crap ton of videos so my thing is it's like if you guys are going to take because this isn't even the first time that they've taken down my other videos if you guys have been uh following my podcast for some time now then you probably remember in october they gave me a strike for an angry grandpa reaction video but for those that are new yes they gave me a strike for an angry grandpa reaction video and um the video did not go against the rules or the guidelines because if so then i'm like then the people behind uh the youtube headquarters don't take showers drink water or wash their hands or even water a plant I'm saying, like, if pouring water on a person is harmful and dangerous, then how do you guys go through life? Like, do you guys just go through life without water? Are you guys, uh, are you those type of people that just don't like water? I mean, I was in that uh, point shoes in my life at one point. I ain't like water, but I still wash my hands. I still shower. You know, if I had plants, I would water them, but... I don't understand, like, how is that going against... So my thing was, is like, okay, maybe it was the title. Because the title of the video was called The Gasoline Wake Up Prank. So I'm like, okay, I understand the title is too much. So I would change it to something else to clarify. Or if not, then I'm like, can you guys at least have it in the beginning of the video, like, warning or uh, viewer discretion is advised or this video is for matured audiences or whatever. See, that's why I'm like, if you're doing this for kid reasons... What's up with YouTube kids? Like, does YouTube kids even exist anymore? Because I'm like, yo, it just seems like that if you're doing this for kid reasons, YouTube kids, an app made for kids. Okay, so there, it still exists. So my thing is, it's like, okay, if that still exists, what does any, why would any kid be watching that video? Because I'm like, my thing is, is that if a kid is coming across the wrong videos, guess who's that? That's, that's on the parent. That's not on me. I'm all like that. That that's the crazy thing about it. On how there's so much crazy content out there and stuff. And it was just recently, um, the one artist Cardi B. She was uh, so she was listening to her like um viral song uh WAP, and uh, her um daughter had came in and her daughter's like two years old 
and was uh, standing there looking. So she hurry up and turned the song off because she didn't want her kid to hear it. So you see how she paid attention to what her kid is listening to and what the kid isn't listening to? That's just her being a parent. But anybody else, like, that you have no control. Because I know people would be like, oh, well, she released the song, so of course kids are going to listen to it. But that is on them. And that is on their parents. Cardi B, I'm like, she's worried about her own kids. So if this is has anything to do with kids, those parents of those kids that are watching my videos need to be managing what their kids watch. But that ain't got nothing to do with me and I shouldn't be affected by it. So that's why I'm like the whole YouTube kids thing. Yes, have it be its own thing. But us content creators that are over the age of 18, that are like, you know, have it where we, or if you're like mature enough to understand and know that what a video, like what happens in the video, like you either got to do it the correct way or not do it at all. But you shouldn't, and, and that's speaking on the gasoline wake up prank. Obviously, don't go out there and do no crazy wild stuff to people. But if it's, if you're doing, trying to recreate that gasoline wake up prank and you are using water, you're not using real gasoline, then you're mature enough to understand that that is wrong. But if you're not mature enough to understand that, then that's when you have a parent that is there managing what you watch. So I'm like, YouTube, I'm saying like, you can't blame a content creator for what a kid watches. A kid is going to watch whoever that kid wants to watch. There is no control over that unless their parent can have some control over it. But myself, I have no control over that. So I'm like, that's why I'm, yeah, YouTube, you guys need to uh, check on that. Because that, to me, that just doesn't really make any sense. But, yeah, but they took down, uh, but even prior before that, they took down, um, because I have another channel called Laugh Hype. And it's a Try Not To Laugh Challenge channel where I'm just making Try Not To Laugh challenges and stuff, uh, videos. But um, they took down uh, some cha um, videos um, off of that channel uh, claiming the same thing. And I'm like... How? I'm like, what in the video is showing harmful and dangerous? I'm like, that's, yeah, YouTube. I'm like, you guys need to, I need to see somebody watch the videos. Because I'm like, you point out the part where it's harmful and dangerous. Because I'm. that's the only reason why I want to see somebody from the YouTube headquarters face to face. So they can watch the video. And I'm like, you point out the part that's harmful and dangerous. And if you do not say anything that is harmful or dangerous about the video, because guaranteed I'm going to have an answer for everything that they say. But if you do not point out one harmful or dangerous thing about my video, my video should be back up on YouTube. I, I'm serious. Like, I don't understand. Like, and so that's why I'm like, honestly, I'm def I'm not going to let this go. For as long as I'm on YouTube, I am not going to let this go. Because I see this as a personal matter. You're f of like fooling around with my job. This is literally the only job that I have. You guys are fooling around with it because you have this jacked up system. So you think I'm supposed to just be silent and not say anything about it? No. If I got to stay up day and night, Okay, working on videos is going to get me a step closer to 100,000 subscribers, a million subscribers, 10 million subscribers. I'm going to make sure at every milestone within that point of reaching whatever milestone. So let's say when I reach 100,000 subscribers at some point in time, I'm going to make a video about this. When I reach a million subscribers, at some point in time, I'm going to make a video about this. When I reach 10 million subscribers, at some point in time, I'm not going to stop making videos about this until something changes. And so I'm like, I'm dead serious about it. I'm contact. I contacted Keemstar. Most likely going to contact Scarce and see how um, if there's any or like just at least check to see if there's any other like a uh, smaller um, YouTube news channels so I can uh, so this situation can get like publicized because I'm like I'm saying like this to me this is very very annoying. It's very, very annoying when you are not doing anything else to videos that are far more worse than my videos. But my videos get taken down. You're not going to tell, you're going to tell me that that's actual people doing that? Okay, well, if that's the case, then there is somebody at the YouTube headquarters that has something against me. Because I'm, I'm not convinced that any of the videos I up, because even a, um, a fan of mine, I think it was Dark Shadow, he was saying that, or I, I, I can't remember if it was him or it was somebody um, in a live stream and they said that I'm like one of the safest YouTubers on the platform because I don't cuss. I don't go out of my way to react to crazy content. Literally any of my fans that watches my videos know that I don't, you point, you name one time I reacted to a crazy video. 
You name one time where I reacted to a video where it was, because if that's, I would have not even have posted the video. I, I, my thing is, is like, I've seen a lot of crazy stuff on the internet, a lot of crazy things on YouTube, on Facebook, on that website 4chan. I've seen a lot of crazy stuff. So I guess I, I don't know, like, to me, it's a little bit hard, like, especially if it's a parkour video or a pranking video or people getting scared. I tend to find videos like that not harmful or dangerous because I'm like, I've seen far more worse. I've seen people get killed on the Internet before. So I'm like, that's why I like I just when I see the videos that I react to or the videos that I've posted that gets taken down, I'm thinking in my head like, OK, I didn't post any of the crazy videos that I've seen like on YouTube or outside of YouTube. So why does my video get taken down? See, that's the thing that I understand is that they're um, the artist um, The Weeknd. He has a song out called Pretty. And uh, the song, it's so it's the overall like the um, story, like the like or the music video. So the story behind it is that he's coming back from somewhere, uh, getting ready to go see his uh, girlfriend or wife, whoever she was. But towards the end of the video, he finds out that um, she's cheating on him. And so he just ends up, he pulls this like gun out, starts shooting through the window. She gets shot, the, uh, the lover gets shot. But you see that they're like kind of having like a sexual act. Plus the girl ain't got no clothes on. So she's butt bald naked in the video. And you mean to tell me there ain't, you think everybody that's over the age of 18 uh, watched that um, video. How old was I when that song came out? I think I was, I think I might have still been in school when that song came out. And I know I wasn't 18 when that song came out. So, and I seen the video, but I'm like, uh, The weekend. By the way, he came out with a new music video. His face just looks really weird. Yeah, that song came out in 2013. Yeah. Yeah, that song came out in 2013. And, uh, yeah, and I was like, and I just started uh, my senior year of school, and I was 17 at the time, so I was under the age of 18 when I very first seen that video. So that shows that there's no control over what a person will come across, especially if they're a fan of that person. So I'm not saying that you need to take down the weekend's videos, but at least just my thing is, is like, can there be a solution to a video where it gets posted like there's a automatic sensor like that will appear on the part of the video that um like the video can still be up but the part of the video that y'all are claiming that's um uh again it's harmful and dangerous censor that out censor the video out but if there's any if once when i see it and i'm all like okay well the whole video is censored out then i will take the video down myself but if there's nothing wrong with the video stop taking it down there's no reason to take down any of the videos i've uploaded that's been taken down there's no legitimate reason for them to be taken down there is videos that it was like um uh, prank uh videos where it's like people was like going out and scaring their friends they were taking those videos down they took down then the angry grandpa then the parkour and then there's um another thing that was all like that I have even um, mentioned or talked about. I plan on doing like a whole video talking on this. So it might be a little bit um more well put together when I do the video version of it. But there's videos of mine that have been demonetized since the whole demonetized system thing came out. Like more so and not because I know that there's like they said that there is a manual review on the video and it was determined that the video is going to be demonetized. So I don't trip on that. But there's videos that's still under review. And I'm like, these videos, there's some of them videos that has like thousands of views and stuff. So I'm like, but there's been other times when videos of mine, it's had less views, but they still reviewed it. So I'm like, there's videos on my channel that's been under review for years now. Ever since this whole demonetized system came out, it's like you guys are so quick to come out with a system that's going to screw up every YouTuber out there on the platform, but won't come out with a system that's going to be a little less like threatening to a person's channel. Like not realizing that some people like YouTube, they depend on it as if it's like, or not even as if, like it is, it is their only job. That's me right now. YouTube is my only job. So not being able to post for two weeks, that's losing out on money. So I'm like, am I going to, that's why if people, if you always wondered, why do I post so much? Because of stuff like this, because this, this exact stuff 
just like this. When they give, they literally, they don't tell you, they don't warn you, they don't let you know anything. They're just like, hey, video's been taken down, you got a strike, now you can't post for either a week or two weeks. And the strike, the original strike was almost over. It would have ended this month on the 13th. So that's why I'm like, I don't understand why did you guys just not wait it out? And I'm like, and it's crazy because it happened. So when I got, and that's why I believe that it's a system that's doing this. It ain't no person that's going out of their way um, unless I'm like, it's somebody that has something against me and they got OCD. But it was um, the same exact day of the week and at the same time of the day. It was on a Sunday night. When they took down the Angry Grandpa video, and it was a Sunday night when they took down the parkour reaction video. I didn't realize that until afterwards. I was so upset, and I, once I kind of like cooled off and started thinking about it and stuff, I was like, yo, wait a second. This was just like how it was the um uh, back in October when they took down the video. Sunday um night, and I'm like, are you, what? How is that, how does that even... That's and that's a person. I'm all like, is it the same person? Like they they just had the Sunday night shift or something, and then they just came across my channel twice. But I'm like, my that's what it's just. I don't believe that a person watched the video because I'm like, there's the one uh TV show ridiculousness. They post parkour videos and they've posted angry grandpa videos before. So I'm like, I they can post it, but I can't post it. And they said. YouTube, I like so. Hold on for a second, because there's like I know that there's an um. They sent me an email not too long ago telling me like which videos or what kind of videos. Uh, documentary, scientific, artistic purposes, and educational. You somebody explain to me when is ridiculousness educational or a documentary type uh TV show or it promotes scientific stuff. Or it has any artistic purpose. So I feel like that um, Discovery, uh, like, you know, that could be an educational, documentary, scientific, artistic purpose uh, channel. Um, any other. But I'm like, I highly doubt that they're going to be going out of their way to post parkour videos or angry grandpa videos or people getting scared. Unless they're trying to figure out, like, what triggers a person in getting scared or what would trigger a person to do uh, parkour videos. But I highly doubt that Discovery Health Channel will be doing some stuff like that. So that's why I'm like, it leads me to think, like, you guys got a messed up system. Like, just admit to that. Rather than, like, because, no, they always... So when I bring that up, I'm like, or just bring up how they, you know, they they overall messed up. They just ignore me. They always, they always ignore me when I bring up a point. And I'm like, okay, well, then that leads me to believe that I'm right in this situation. And you guys are just screwing me over. So I'm like, yeah, that's why I'm like, you guys need to really focus on your website before it's going to be me and a crap ton of other content creators decide that we're just going to go to another platform. But no, I do, man, I, I do plan on making a video about this. And I will, uh, like, send it out to all, like, media outlets um, that, you know, that covers on YouTube and things. But, yeah, I'm like, this stuff needs to stop. It really does. Or YouTube needs to come out with something that's a little bit more uh, better for content creators. Like, you want content creators to continue promoting your website. Because I've said nothing but nice things about YouTube. So my, I'm just very confused on, like, I've said nothing but nice things I think I've motivated people to go out of their way to record and make videos. So that's why I'm like, I don't understand. Like, I'm bringing money to you guys. I'm bringing more attention to you guys. But this is what I get in return. And then I'm supposed to be okay about it. I'm supposed to be quiet about it. No, that's not going to happen. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to work on some videos about it. I'm definitely going to send it out to some media outlets. Hopefully they pick it up. Um, if not, then I'm just, I guess I'll just have to wait until down the road when I'm a much more bigger content creator and, um, then like people, more people will listen about it and stuff. So yeah, but I'm like, this stuff needs to stop. So I'm like, cause I, it's, it's really annoying as a content creator when you're, all you're just doing is like posting videos for entertainment purposes. So I'm like, I'm allowed to post videos for educational, artistic, um, all these other documentary purposes and all these other purposes, but I'm not allowed to post it for entertainment purposes. I just, I don't understand that. So anyways, yeah, I'm going to work on this video. And um, in the meantime, I will talk to you guys later. To everybody that's been supporting me and being helpful, I really do appreciate it.
But yeah, this stuff with YouTube, need, um, it needs to stop. So if I uh, change up my content, change up my ways for a little bit, just know that it ain't gonna be um, permanent. Just gonna be temporarily until uh, until YouTube does something about their website. Because I'm not going to continue being on a website that's going to treat me in a bad way. But I have to keep on promoting them and make it seem like that YouTube is like an internet heaven. No, that's not gonna happen. So I'm like, I've done way too many nice things for the YouTube platform. And at this point, I'm like, nah, something needs to change right now because I'm not going to continue being on the platform when it's doing this to its content creator. So anyways, I will talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching and or listening and peace.